Now, it's not very hard to stand out from the average guy because the average guy looks like this. But you don't even wanna look remotely close to that guy. You wanna look like this guy. That's right, that's me. I'm a stud. I'm, I'm ballsy. Ball. I don't take no sh** from anyone. <laughs> I'm only kidding, but you do want to dress and look the best that you possibly can. So if you follow these seven tips I'm about to outline in today's video, you're going to take your outfits to the next level. Starting with the first tip is to wear smart trousers. As you start to understand what makes a good outfit, you really start to realize that your pants make the biggest difference in your outfit. For example, here I'm wearing black pants on both sides, but as you can clearly see, the trouser on the right with the pleat line and the nice taper just makes the outfit look so much better. Once again, here we have the exact same outfit on both sides except one is a high-waisted trouser and it just looks way more premium than the denim alternative now you can still keep these outfits casual implementing these smart trousers but it just gives you that little bit more elegant premium casual look but you also have the luxury of being able to smarten up the look a lot if you want to as well so you kind of get the best of both worlds with these pants now the best brands to find these quality trousers are club monaco uniqlo cos and banana republic second tip is to implement the rule of thirds into your outfit so when you look at these two outfits which one looks better assuming you have some sort of fashion sense you said the right side if you didn't you need to watch my videos again <laughs> now why the right side because the right side is using the rule of thirds and the rule of thirds is when two-thirds of your outfit is taken up by your pants and the other one-third comes from your upper layers and that is what helps you create this beautiful silhouette now on the left we have the common one and a half split where the clothes land dead even in the middle which just looks Meh. So to easily implement the rule of thirds into your outfit, try tucking in your shirt so that you can raise that visual waistline or buy cropped items that stop right around your waistline. Third tip is to invest in quality basics right from the beginning. Do not make the mistake that I did where I just went and I bought poor quality things where I had to replace it every single month. I ended up spending more money than I would have if I had just gone and bought the nice one to begin with. So investing in high quality basics is not only gonna last you a lot longer, but it's also going to come in higher quality fabrics and materials. Now I'm not saying to go buy a $400 Gucci shirt because a Gucci shirt and a Uniqlo shirt is probably the exact same quality, so don't do that. I'm more so speaking about things like your sweaters. If you're gonna buy a sweater, buy cashmere, buy wool. Same goes for your jackets. If you want a leather jacket, buy a real leather one or go for wool. Buying these fabrics will not only last you a lot longer, but they're also gonna look a lot better as well because of that hint of texture that these fabrics have. Fourth tip is to surround yourself with stylish people. We've all heard the saying that you are the average of your five closest friends. So if you would not consider your friends very well dressed well maybe you should find a new friend group <laughs> or the other option which is probably more appealing to do is consume content from people who you consider stylish fill your social media with people who inspire you who have style that you love in turn this is going to end up training your eye to spot pieces at stores that can achieve the look that you're going for because after all being stylish is an actual skill and something that you'll need to train fifth tip is your tailor is your best friend almost every item that you've ever seen me wear on this channel has been altered in some sort of way by the tailor whether it was a shirt that I got cropped to sit higher on my waist or a pair of pants that seemed to fit my legs and my waist absolutely perfectly It's because I've taken it to the tailors to get it altered guys So the main ones that I get done is a hem on my pants Which is where I get her to cut the pant leg so it falls right at the top of my shoes And also depending on how wide my pants are I might get her to slim it down So what I asked for is called a taper and that's basically where she cuts down the pant leg Diagonally so that it gets slimmer as it goes towards my ankle and if the waist is too big which it typically is I ask her to take in the waist. As for my shirts, I ask her to crop it so that it falls at mid fly. And then for my jackets, if my sleeves are a bit too long, I'll ask her to adjust my sleeves so that they land right at my wrist bone. Number six is to add tasteful accessories. You guys know how much I stress accessories because without accessories, your outfit just looks bland. Now I'm not saying you need to have a ton of accessories. You just need some ones that are tasteful, angular, simplistic, ones that you can implement into all of your outfits. I get almost all of my jewelry from Serge and Nimes and I actually actually have a 15% off discount code for you guys and that will be linked in my description if you want to cop some stuff. And number seven is to pay attention to the details. Bro, steam and lint remove your clothes, man. You can make the sickest outfit look like absolute garbage by not de-wrinkling it. Buy yourself a portable steamer. This is gonna save you so much time, make your clothes look good and you don't have to whip out the iron all the time. Two, buy yourself a lint shaver. This is gonna remove all of those annoying pills, keeping your wool and your knit sweaters looking good. And number three is to buy yourself a lint remover because if you ever plan on wearing black clothes, you're gonna need it because you're gonna get white fluffs absolutely everywhere. Now, if you guys want some advice on what quality basics to buy so you can formulate your outfits, I got this video right here on the right and this will help you out. Enjoy.